everyone welcome to my youtube channel wherever you're watching me god bless you how are you doing and i hope all is well so today i'm so grateful unto god because we are alive in the land of everyone none of him that win it or him that run it but of the lord that trained mercy is the one that kept us alive let his name alone be highly exalted in the name of jesus my name is ujuma chiwen and i want to appreciate all my subscribers you guys are amazing may god bless you and keep you and if today is your first time you're coming across of this channel please Consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel and be part of this family. As you are doing so, may Almighty God bless you. Today, I have a word for someone. So today, I want to share what God revealed to me. Hallelujah. Amen. What God showed me in my dream. That was yesterday night after our midnight prayer. When I slept, just after five minutes, I saw a wish. This wish was, you know, laughing. And she asked a question. She said, where is your family? Are they living in peace? Where is your family? Are they not sick? And she was laughing as if she had dominion over that family. She has power over that family. And in that dream, I was angry. And I responded to her. I said, their family, they are living in peace. And nobody is sick in that family. And it has no power over their life. And this woman became angry. So she left. When she left, I started praying. I started praying in tongue. I was like, Bossing in tongues, my color was Shanalawa. Let every pass of which can be broken. The next thing I saw, I saw cat was coming out from the cave, from cave. The fire was so much on them. They couldn't, you know, withstand the, the fire and the power of God. And they start, you know, run, running head that scatter. So the next thing I saw again, I saw lion. Lion was coming where I was. The lion was angry. And I want to tell you, that lion was that wish. Hallelujah. Amen. So the, the lion started chasing me. I was running. But all of a sudden, something hung me up. And the lion couldn't, you know, come that place I was. The lion was looking at me. So I was, that place I was hanging up. All of a sudden, power came upon me. And I saw my... In my hand, I saw big machete, and I came down. I started chasing that lion, and I saw a man was protecting that lion. I said, "Damn, my please give away, please make chance. I want to kill this lion. I want to kill this witch that is tormenting people's life." And that lion was, you know, hiding herself. But thank God, God give me the power. I hit head that lion. I used that machete, cut her into pieces. So when I wake up, I was like, Thank you, Jesus, for this victory. Hallelujah. Amen. So wherever you're watching, I'm here to tell you that wish that is tormenting your life, that wizard that is tormenting your life, God has brought them down by his power. Enough is enough. That attack you, attacking your job, attacking your life, try to take your life. But today, God is giving you victory over their life. Just arise and be prayerful. Pray as a child of God. And when you start praying, they, they will fear you. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want you to remember what this wish asked me. He said, Where is your family? Are they living in peace? Which means. They are causing problem in your marriage. They are causing tragedy, causing havoc, causing pain, sorrow, affliction. Vow that you can never have peace. Vow that you can never get married. They are taking ownership over your life. You know, bragging. You know, contending against your life, against your marriage. But today, God has brought them down in the name of Jesus. And I want to tell you, anytime you see cat and lion in your dream, please pray. Wish and wizard, they are using it as their weapon to attack the children of God. They are using it to monitor you. They are using it to, to work against you. Just pray. It's not from God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
And the word of God is saying in the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 13, it says, The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stay up, jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, ye rule. He shall prevail against your enemies, against that wish, against that wizard, in your family, in your place of your work, in the name of Jesus. And I see God going forth as a mighty man in your family, as a mighty man in your, in your family. He's fighting your battle right now. He's fighting your battle in the name of Jesus is prevailing over your enemy over that witchcraft over that witchcraft over that wizard over the powers of witchcraft over your life in the name of Jesus Open your mouth, begin to appreciate God for this victory. Open your mouth, open your mouth because God has given you victory. Open your mouth, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this victory. Thank you for giving your children victory over our enemies, over wish and wish life that is tormenting the life of your children. Thank you, Jesus, because your marriage is released, because your peace have as a release, Mark Calabar, whatever they are that they, they are beholding by the power of God, God have released it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. So, my brothers, my sisters, please be prayerful. Who says there is no power in God? God has power, and God is able to deliver you. Please be prayerful. Start doing midnight prayer, it's gonna help you, it's gonna help you. Hallelujah, amen. It can start by 12, you know, 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. in the morning after praying you will see the hand of god you will see peace around you you will see deliverance you will see that thing you are looking for because witchcraft they are contending against you seriously they are attacking you monitoring you fighting you but as you're going to start doing midnight prayer you will see the hand of god over your life may god help you may god give you strength in the mighty name of jesus christ i prayed amen before i end this video if you are watching and you know that you're not reborn again. Please give your life to God. What shall it profit a man after you gain the whole world and lose your soul? God forbid. And then they can say after me, say, Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your love upon my life. From today, I have decided to serve you. Have mercy upon me. Wash me by your blood. Cancel my name in the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. From today, give me grace to live for you. And sin will never have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you pray that prayer, congratulations. May God give you grace to live for him. And you will never miss heaven. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus Christ.